Okay, now we can go inside. <sighs> With a little foot power. Green ice? Ow! Pesky ice. Hmm. Looks like we have a way to the fire area and a way to the icy area. And here we have a new move. Forget it, punk! You won't be needing to learn this one. Just flea girl there. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we just need Kazooie for this one. Okay, here's Kazooie alone. Now what's the move? The glide. Now you're lifting no big fat bear easy. It'll be to glide through the air. Jump up high and then hold Z. Don't need fly pads or feathers red. Huh, that'll be nice. So now Kazooie can fly without the need of red feathers pads. So uh, let's try it. Jump. Oh, we have to press Z in the air, I guess. Oh, very nice. And in doing so, we have obtained a Cheeto page. This will make it quite easy for Kazooie to get to places. Hmm, having a little trouble getting it started. Hey, fly, fly, fly! Ah, uh, that didn't go well. Do I have to hold a direction? She may not need red feathers for this, but at least with red feathers she can, uh, ascend. With this method, it's kind of like Knuckles' gliding ability. Alright, now we can see what's the other way. Where will this put us out? Uh, apparently we're inside the volcano again, and here's the honeycomb heart piece that we couldn't get to before. That's number four. Three more and we can get another unit of health. Okay. I'll check out that cave as well. If I can walk away with this move safely. You know what, I'm not taking a chance. Okay, I need my camera. And a new move. Oh no. No way, son. I'll only teach you this one once you've got rid of that dumb bird. He is so funny because now I have to go back and get rid of you. And then do this all over again. Isn't he so funny? Hi. <laughs> Alright. What's our move? The Shack Pack. This one makes you safe and small to fit through gaps in a wall. First hold Z, then press down. Protected in liquids you will be. So, how does down and B <laughs> rhyme? Alright, so we hold Z and press down. Apparently this suits! Oh, yes, ow indeed. What? I'm not even going to pretend to understand how this works. <laughs> okay, then. Can I jump? Yes. Well, don't that beat all. We have protection against lava. And probably ice water. I guess this means Banjo will be able to access 
a lot of different areas. Okay, not protection against enemies. Noted. Okay, so we have a glide and pack protection. I wonder if we can use this to get into the hot water. We don't need to be in it just yet. Before we jump in the water, a quick nap. Alright. Oh, oh! I, let me get into the dang pack! Well, sure enough. A big fish! Just what Boggy wanted. And a blue ginger! Just what I wanted! <laughs> Again, I'm not going to pretend to understand how this works. How is he not getting burned? How does he not need air? I suppose now we should go say hi to Boggy. Here's good old Boggy, and it looks like he's uh still watching that incredibly weird show. Let's just give him his fish. <laughs> Apparently, there was a jiggy inside of it. W what was that? Wow, the fish must have swallowed a jiggy. If it's not edible, he doesn't want it. Oh, apparently, that doesn't apply to uh, big screen TVs. I won't complain. That's our second jiggy for the stage. All right, we got the shoes. Now up the wall. And it led us to another Cheeto page. Very nice. Okay then. Whoa! No! I didn't mean to do that! No, 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 this is not gonna be good. Ugh, that knocked off four points. Whoa! Watch the hands. And here's the last of the notes. Okay, I'm getting sick of these hands. And here's Mumbo's skull. So if we can find the Globo, we can probably make quick work of this, uh, some of the problem areas around here, and I bet it'll be over there. Oh! Time to sit around. Will you stop doing that? Oh my gosh. Now we're way down here. Uh oh. Well, he revealed a flying pad. I suppose I should thank him for that. But I hear the globo nearby. Let's try and find it. Preferably without getting smashed. There it is. Good. What else is down here? Here we have a button. It reveals a stairway connecting these two points. 
It really looked like I was stepping in the lava there. Apparently it didn't count. <laughs> so we go down here and it'll probably put us out by the tent. Yes. Let's go see if we can reach Mumba. And in we go. He's got feathers for us again. Alright, Mumbo, you've got a bit of ground to cover. A few pads where your magic will be needed. I recall two Mumbo pads, but I only remember where one is. This wasn't one of them. I also don't remember a stairway here. Oh, this is how you get up here. Well, fair enough. I wonder if it's Mumbo who's gonna bring him back to life. I suppose we'll find out soon enough. <clears throat> if I could stay on the platform. Right? Magic time! Life Force for Alien Dad. What? Mumbo, why don't you just do that for bottles? You dead. Mumbo used powerful shaman magic. You alive. Could have used special powers instead. Then why didn't you? Spaceman ungrateful. Waste Mumbo's time. Me should teach lesson. <laughs> the three children escaped the ship before we crashed. In the lagoon. If you can find and return them to me, safely, I'll bestow the Earth with wondrous gifts. Okay, so those are... that's what that ice there is for. Okay, so we just need to get to those uh, three points. And not do that. Oh, yeah, now it can be broken. Beats me. You can try beak to mouth risk. <laughs> A professionally qualified doctor, eh? Well, let's go ahead and break the other one out. Here's the other one. Thanks, Earthling! So I guess he'll just walk back over himself. 
Is there something in your hole? Nope. Okay. Let's see if Banjo can increase our health a bit. And now when I pick up Kazooie... Look at that! Our health bar is restored! A neat little trick. And as long as we've got Kazooie here, I bet we can get to the honeycomb heart piece now. Provided that this thing doesn't chomp us down. And there we go. That's honeycomb heart piece number five. And that's hit number 1,000. I haven't actually been keeping track, but you know, I've been getting hit a lot. Okay, now that we have Mumbo out, we can uh, go ahead and use this pad. So we're going to use the Life Force Magic on this fellow, too. Since 84! Okay, so we need to uh, warm him up as Banjo or Banjo and Kazooie. And I think I know a good way to do that. Okay, let's see if we can warm him up with some fire eggs. I say, any chance a little heat? I think it's working. That's so much better. Glad to help an old hero. A cup of tea and 40 winks. 40 winks. Carry him back to his tent. It's over in the fiery side of the mountain. Ooh. Yes, we'll have to use the pack move that we learned in order to do that. So let's go drop off Kazooie and handle that. Thanks to telewarper technology, getting to the tent will be no problem. Because it's right there. Oh. 
There we go. My tent! My equipment! It's just as I left it all those years ago. So this place has been untampered since 1984. Untainted by all of the falling meteors. And no surprise, we get a jiggy for all of this. Uh, looks like he's just going to bed. <laughs> Right on, Dolphin. Sure, go with that. All right, that's number 42 for the game, number three for the stage. Where else shall we go to obtain a Jiggy? The search continues. Okay, now before I go and do another fail glide, maybe I can get some clarification on how exactly it's done? The glide allows Kazooie to glide through the air without the need for fly pads. Jump in the air, then press and hold Z. I've done that before. Oh, there we go. Right, right, right. So when I do a high jump, then I just press Z again? Yes, okay. I just have to let go of Z and then press it again. Simple enough. So let's jump and Z. Ah, much simpler. And sure enough, here's one of those aliens. Cool! A little alien baby! So, go to your parent! Why are you just standing here? Admit, Kazooie, you have a soft spot for this thing. Anyway, let's warm it up. Um, did I miss something here? Why isn't that working? Generally, when something needs to be warmed, you shoot fire eggs at it, right? When did this not become the accepted norm? Is there some other way to warm him? Not that I can think of. Well then. So we have one child who needs a doctor and another who wants to be warmed up by something besides fire eggs. Yeah, this is turning out to be quite the puzzler. I had almost forgotten about this flying pad, which we could totally use to get around the fire area so much easier. So let's get flying! Let's see what new areas this opens up. I bet we could reach the, uh... Fire monster from here, using this. Oh, don't do that. All right, where are we now? Up, oh, yep, we have reached him. Oh. 
Chili Billy. You must be the pizza delivery boy that beat up my poor brother. No, no, you're thinking of another bird in there. A spicy meat special. Alright, same strategy as before, just this time with ice eggs. Hey, I do the puns around here! Tongue luck! Now, cool off, sucker! To a new launch pad! Oh, couldn't quite clear that. Ow. Keep moving. That didn't look like a hit. Oh. Never mind, just shoot him. Okay, dodge attacks. Whoa! Oh, that was just poorly timed jumping on my part. Oh, and I'm gonna fall to my death. Bummer. The meteor showers end here! Have you got my spicy special pizza yet? Then I'll feast on your furry hide once more! Yeah, that's what the last guy said. And was successful in doing it. Once. Moving on. Oh, bad jump. Whoa! Almost saved it. Oh, watch where you're swinging that tongue, boy! It seems like I'm moving slightly up and slightly down as I am walking to the side. It's hard to judge if I'm going to fall in the lava or not. Alright, looks like that's going to take him down as well. I don't want pizza anymore! I'll go and get a takeout instead! We've beaten both of you now, so I reckon we should get a trophy. Yep, that works too. I wouldn't recommend it personally. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Then again, the stuff at McJiggy's isn't much better, I don't think. Here's the Jiggy. There we go. And that's number four for the stage. We need to have a close look at the side of this building. There's the banjo button. But how in the world would you get Banjo over here? Perhaps the answer lies within. Oh, they're still shooting fireballs in here. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know how that wasn't a hit, but okay. <laughs> I mean, here's the banjo button, but I, as long as I have Kazooie, I can't activate it. But surely there must be some way to get banjo over here. 